Hello there, YouTubers. Today we're going to take a closer look at the Rankforce 7-port USB 3.0 hub. There are several special things about this that made me get this. First of all, it's going to be quite a neat solution. Now, we all know those typical USB hubs, they, they're these plasticky little things that are not heavy enough to withstand the force of the cables hooked up to them, so they just end up lying around in some kind of a weird mess on your desk in among all the cables. Really nothing that I'd like to have on my desk. And that's where this thing is quite different. It has a metal housing, hopefully a high-quality metal housing. Of course, we're going to find out about that in just a few moments. And on all of the four corners, it has a mounting hole. So what I intend to do is I want to screw this under my desk. And so it's going to be nicely put away and all the cables are going to have absolutely no chance uh, to pull this thing all over the place and make it look messy. So that's going to be quite neat. And then the other notable feature is all of the seven USB ports are switchable. So you don't have to unplug your external hard disk drive if you want to turn it off. You can leave it plugged in, just flip the switch. So that's another very, very neat thing. So let me go ahead and open this uh, little package right here. Um, I got this in a major German electronics store, and I'm not sure if this is even available internationally. I guess you can try to uh, get it through Amazon or something, and I really wouldn't be surprised at all if this was somehow available on, uh, on another brand name somewhere else, because of course this is just your generic Chinese product with, uh, with just a random brand name on it. So anyway, let's uh, pull this out of the box. This thing cost me a whopping 80 euro, but uh, as I said, I didn't want it to get one of these crappy uh, plasticky things that uh, looks messy. And also I wanted to get something future-proof, so it had to be USB 3.0. And this is going to be another thing. Um, my computer did not originally come with USB 3.0. I put in uh, an add-on card, and the add-on card, of course, only has uh, the ports on the back. So this is going to fix that situation. I'm finally going to have easy access to USB 3.0 ports. So we got a little manual that uh, you may or may not want to read. Uh, probably plenty of uh, security advice that uh, no person capable of thinking really needs. We get a USB cable and uh, let's just uh, get this out of the plastic, check, make sure that, uh, yep, it is, in fact, a USB 3.0 cable. I mean, you'd kind of expect that, but then again, you can never know where they are going to do their cost cutting. You also get, very important, a power adapter. Because, uh, obviously, these uh, USB 3.0 ports are capable of delivering a lot more current than the classic old USB 2.0 or even one uh, version. So, you have to have a power supply to uh, get all devices work to work at the same time. We get uh, just a, a generic KTEC adapter, and uh, let's see, this, uh, this doesn't even really have a proper plug on it. Uh, there, there we go, you get one of these adapters, that's kind of interesting. So, I guess. Okay, that was easy enough. You just stick it in there and seems to hold in there quite well. Uh, looks to be electrically safe, so that's good. And now finally, for the most interesting part, the unit itself. And, uh, oh yes, this, uh, you know, it's not going to withstand the, uh, the force of cables pulling on it, obviously, but um, it's pretty heavy. It's pretty heavy and so you can see the labeling, as we are looking at it right now, the labeling is upside down. However, if you do screw this under a table, like that, 
uh, the labeling is uh, facing the right way. Uh, I got uh, the USB ports on the front, as you can see, and each one has a uh, well, probably an activity or access LED, green LED. We got a red power LED over here. And then we got these uh, little switches, and you can probably hear they actually do appear to be quite solid. So, so far I'm quite impressed. And, yep, metal 7-port USB 3.0 hub. So, uh, clearly it is a generic Chinese product because uh, the Rank Force name does not even appear on this thing. Well, actually, right there it is, but that's just a little sticker. You can easily replace that. Here we have our USB interface, and here we have our power jack. This takes 5 volts at 4 amps. So, yep, lots and lots of current uh, going through these uh, USB 3.0 ports. So there we have it. That's it, basically. What do we get? We get the hub, manuals, power supply, and the cable to hook it up to the computer. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to screw this to my desk, and then we're going to hook it up to the PC and see what happens. There we have the PC tower standing on the floor, so you can imagine how much fun it was up until now to plug in a USB device. Well, it's going to be a lot easier now, because right there in the corner of the desk is where the USB hub is now sitting, or where it's now hanging, much rather. Uh, and as you can see, the red power light is on. It comes on as soon as you plug in the USB cable. You don't even need the power adapter to run this, apparently. Now, the one thing that I really do want to criticize are the cables. The USB cable that came with the USB hub, that's this thing right here, in case you can see it. Uh, I didn't even use that. It's like half a meter in length. It's just way too short. So I had to use another one and it's just barely long enough. And same goes for the uh, cord of, of the AC adapter. I mean, I'm used to those AC adapters having an incredibly long cord on them. Well, on this one they really did some cost cutting and you can see in the center of the picture the wires are running along right there and uh, as you can see they are under, well they are not under tension but they are just about to uh, to be. So not impressed with that at all, especially with the, uh, with the power adapter. You don't really have any way to extend that. You, know, you can always get a different USB cord but with a power supply it's not that easy. Definitely a positive thing are the drivers. Doesn't get any easier than this. I plugged in the hub and Microsoft Update just went straight ahead and automatically installed all the software that's required. So, as you can see, everything's fine, so we should be able to try out the hub. Well, they put on all the labels upside down so that you can mount this under a table. However, they did not put the USB jacks upside down, so you may expect that you are going to be able to plug a USB thumb drive in this way around, but you aren't. You'll have to flip it around. As you can see, this is the bottom of the stick. That's the only way that's going to fit. So that's in there. So let me go ahead and uh, turn this on. See what happens. I get a green light, not sure if you're able to see that, and thanks to high-speed USB 3.0, we already got our little automatic thing popping up from, uh, from the Windows system. So there you have it, the Rank Force 7-port USB 3.0 hub. Nice little device. I just turn off this port right here that's that. So, thank you for watching, 